Hello guys, fitness back here after a long time. So you may ask why I was not posting any videos. So it has been a mark of a good excuse. I have two excuses for this. For one, I have previously made one video on shoulder workout, which my father, which was on my father's phone, so he deleted it. From that time, I made sure that I will make videos only if I had my own personal phone. So, at the phone key, so at the phone, I mean, की नहीं मिला। क्या बोले? This was my first excuse. So my second excuse is class 12 exams, board exams. So. And now, why I'm 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 making this video is twelve exams are postponed. I think it will be cancelled like here. So, so today's topic is top Indian myths and problems. So before starting this video, I want to say something that I'm going to start a series of a workout series basically that's called bottle workout series. You may think that that uh, we are using the bottles for workout, so it will be all of dumbbells. No, bottles are somewhat different from dumbbells. They are quite wide in grip, and they are somewhat lightweight, too lightweight. So there is some difference in the workout. So we will talk about that in our next video. So let's start this video. The first problem that every Indian face. While starting the workout, is they are confused. They don't know whether to gain or shed. First of all, the question should be different. You should question that when to gain or shed. Like if you are 25, 30 percent body fat and are tanking, it will not work. It will definitely not work. You should be within the range of 15 percent body fat. Yes, 15 percent body fat. If you are in the range of 15% body fat, you should try. You should try to gain. I was a piece of tiny shit. Piece of tiny shit. Okay. Piece of tiny shit. Because I was shredding all the way. From I posted in my transformation video that I was too fat and I shredded all the way out. That's a problem. If you are in the range of higher than 15%, you should try to shred. And if you are within the range of 15% body fat, you should start gaining. You should. Uh, you can identify your body fat percentage by looking at the pictures. You can uh, try searching on Google. So if you gain in that 15% of body fat, you will have three advantages number one you will be happy because it uh, in value of gaining you can have some cheap meals i will speak about that as well you can have uh, that cheap meals and all and can eat so it will make you happy second it will help you generate some newbie gains which are very Pretty huge amount of muscles. So when there are new begins, you can see some major changes quickly. And number three, you will be stronger. You will be strong enough to tackle all the fight. So yeah. And here, when you are gaining, it brings us to the nutrition part which is calorie sur surplus when you are shredding you should be in calorie deficit let's first talk about that shredding portion when you are shredding you should be in calorie deficit calorie deficit means eating a bit of like 10% less calories than what your body consumes you can calculate that your required calories in certain apps 
when you have calorie deficit or you are shredding that means you need to burn more calories so you should be working out more like six days in a week but uh, when you are gaining you should give your body a proper rest so that you can uh, recover your muscles can recover and grow quick so while you are gaining I will I will prefer that uh, to work five times a week it, it uh, really works for me as well now let's come to that gaining part again when you are gaining you are in calorie surplus right so you are eating more calories than what is required you can you like have to eat like a dog you have to eat everything right and eat more than what what's required uh, you should not eat like you have to fill your stomach you have to fill your muscles right so when you are eating you have to eat much more now many of you have uh, may have problem that you can't eat more so what to do you can just uh, divide your one meal into one two three or four as much as you require and you should decrease the time interval like one hour gap that will also increase your metabolism and will also help you grow now what's about the cheat meal when you're gaining you can have cheat meal one or two days a week but that doesn't mean that you will start eating cheat meals every day because many of my friends also have the problem that they tell chalna ek din to khene khene they also eat like that so you know that's a problem of many indians so don't do that right you are like have some goals and yeah you should have cheat meals because it helps you increase your dopamine levels so you will feel happy and energetic so you should have cheat meals but not every day now there is a very bad as or i should say that it's a dumb kind of myth that weight training is going to stop your height no it never stops your height one of my friend told that abs training and like your leg training will stop your height but who told him that i don't know but <coughs> who told him was a piece of tiny shit cuz when you train your legs your growth hormone will secrete more that's going to increase your height so i don't know who told him like that kind of should be stuff so weight training is going to stop your height that's not true never science also can't prove that cuz when you're training your growth hormone is secreting more and your height is going to increase you can take some examples of popular bodybuilders like arnold and simon panda both uh, both had started working out when they were arnold started when he was like 12 or 11 and uh, simon panda started from when he was, he was 16 so both are like 6 foot 1 to inches in the height how they didn't train uh, they didn't do weight training weight training is not going to stop your height rather it can improve your body posture weight which will make you look taller and stronger like when you are not training you, you will have that many of other people have this problem round shoulder but when you are training your posture is normally going to be like this proper straight strong now there is another myth that masturbation you know what is it you know i don't have to explain so masturbation is gonna affect your gains 
first of all i'm not gonna go deep into this topic first thing i got i'm gonna tell that everything in this world has some purpose which it is done in the mind it's beneficial if it's like if there is no limit for that then it's gonna harm you so in this case masturbation is also beneficial if it's done in limit i'm gonna tell you the limit that it's two maximum three times in a week okay i'm not gonna explain this anymore two to three times a week that's the limit my friends don't do much than this people can't differentiate bodybuilding and fitness they think bodybuilding is same as fitness and fitness is same as bodybuilding that's not true bodybuilding is a kind of fitness but all fitness every kind of fitness is not bodybuilding wow. so yeah this it is fitness is somewhat like doing your cardiovascular activities you are healthy from mentally physically and it's a mark when bodybuilding and fitness both are same that when you are doing natural bodybuilding i will say it frankly that when bodybuilding is natural it's into fitness but when it's come about it comes about steroids and all for stuff it's not fitness the testosterone level is going to decrease i mean your natural testosterone level is going to decrease when it comes to steroids the first reason is that you are taking artificial testosterone to increase your muscle so your body knows that there is enough testosterone so no need for making testosterone so your natural testosterone level will be khatam khatam so natural bodybuilding is fitness but when it comes to that level mr olympia is not fitness so yeah stay natural be healthy stay fit now there's some people right who thinks abs as a proof of your strength no abs is nothing everyone in this world have abs when you clean up that fat layer in front of a belly your abs is going to be visible so it's not the proof of your strength like there are some people when i was a bit shredded they were like oh bhai ভারী <laughs> so i have not gained a uh, much amount of fat i'm happy for that thanks to god so aaj ke video the to koi aur lagle like karo subscribe kar diyo kaun ka to motivate karna hai okay so and share this with your friends who have the same problem or think this myths are true the share karo ka for you I have from COVID-19, you know, what's happening. So, stay safe, stay in your homes. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next video with Bottler Talks. Bye.